Hey everyone, it's Elise. Um, I am here today to do the Nature Puppets workshop with you. Woohoo! Um, unfortunately, I did plan to have this outside, but of course it's 2020, so it's raining out and I can't do it outside, so we're, we're back in my normal spot today. But that's okay, we can still do it. Um, it just means that I had to, you know, dry off the materials I was gathering. So um, I hope you join me, even though today, I, I mean, you might not have bad weather in your area, but I certainly do. Um, so th for today, the materials we're going to need are um, some sticks and leaves. I have my leaves prepped right here. I put them on a paper towel to dry off. Um, I, I also brought a little spider flower that I or spider plant flower. Um, I have my stick on the floor that is right here. A nice, a nice, you know, at least a couple feet long. Um, and it's nice and thin and it's dry because I collected it yesterday so I can break it um, wherever I pretty much want to. You're also going to want um, hot glue. I have my hot glue gun right here. Oops, the glue stick just fell out. Um, oh no, I'm going to need that. Well, I'll find it later in a second. Um, but you're also going to need, if you don't have hot glue, that's okay. Um, a glue stick will work fine. And then if when it comes to tying the sticks or like, you know, attaching the sticks together, you're going to want to have some yarn of some sort or string, really whatever you want. Um, I have to say, this is the kind of workshop where it's kind of like up to you, you know, whatever you found in your yard that inspired you, um, you might be making your puppet a totally different way than I am. So really whatever you, you want to have around um, with you works, but those are like kind of the basics, I think, of what you're going to need. Um, and then of course, if you aren't satisfied with the color of your leaves, like maybe this might be a better project for the fall when the leaves are really beautiful. Um, maybe, you know, you could get out paint and paint the leaves too. I did that with um, one of the puppets in that in that picture. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I decided when I was walking around my yard, kind of like deciding what I wanted to do. I have this really pretty tree with like these dark, almost black leaves. Um, and I was like, I think these are really cool and I like the shape of them too. So I wanted to make some kind of, some kind of animal out of that, um, of these leaves. You don't have to necessarily make an animal. You could certainly make a person or something. Um, but I think an animal is kind of cool with the aesthetic of nature because, you know, animals are in nature and everything. So, um... I would like to challenge you guys to make some kind of animal today with whatever materials you can find. Um, so I have these like dark colors, right? Um, I did make a crow out of these leaves in that in the picture. Um, if you saw it, it's like on the event page. Um, then I have these like cool spider flowers and I just really like the pink of it. Um, they have these like little whiskers almost too. Um, so I decided, I was looking at these, I really want to make a black cat today. So that's what I'm going to be working towards. Um, let me get out my stick. I'm really going to need this hot glue stick. There it is. All the way underneath my seat. Alright, so I have my stick. Um, the very first thing you're going to want to do, so first of all, kind of like figure out what kind of, what kind of animal you want to make. Um, you know, because this is all going to kind of, kind of depends on what you're going to be making. Um, uh, so I'm going to need a black cat, or I'm making a black cat, so I'm going to need um, a body. So that's probably going to be about like this much of stick. Um, I'm going to need four legs, so I'm going to have to break the stick up into four little leg components. Um, the head, if you, you can either make the head out of like a leaf or um, you can make, oh yeah, somebody just said googly eyes makes everything better. Um, they do. I also forgot to say that I did use googly eyes. I have some here for um, the puppets. Now I know not everyone usually has googly eyes, so I'm going to say you can definitely paint on eyes or find like another thing in nature that, that works um, as eyes. Again, this is your puppet. You can do whatever you want to make it um, fun and, you know, aesthetically pleasing to you. Um, but anyways, so I have the, I need a body and four legs. And for the head, if you leave like enough space, um, I mean, we like this much of space, you can put a leaf there and then that can just be the head. Or you can, I don't know, if you have an animal with a longer neck, you can also delegate part of a stick for that. And then of course, because it's a cat, it's going to need a nice long tail. So that means I'm going to have to break it into six parts, right? That's, um... Yeah, body, one, two, three, four, tail. There we go. Speaking of cats, my cat's trying to, there we go. Come on, buddy. He can't be here right now. There we go. He's so heavy, he's like 20 pounds. Um, so to break the stick, you can just do, you know, really just go at it and break it with your hands. Um, I find that if the stick is thin enough, you can actually just use scissors and kind of like force it. Um, I don't have any, like, you know, uh, any official tools to, you know, cut a stick, um, so I'm just gonna go with, 
my hands and if I can't do it I'm gonna actually use my feet and step on it so you might see me there we go oh, I'm so strong um, here's my body or even if, if I end up being like yeah this is too small or something um, I can always use a different piece too the legs I'm probably gonna make a little bit shorter there we go <laughs> if you are um, a young one maybe have your parents break the sticks um, or whoever's doing this with you all right so I'm looking at it yeah this cat will just have nice long legs so you can start holding up the stick and kind of like you know seeing um or holding up the parts together and seeing what will look good um, I think I like the idea of long legs because that kind of makes it funnier um, so you can also to make sure your legs are nice and even try to figure out like hold up the pieces together keep breaking this one's tough there we go um have more pieces um this is kind of like a workout honestly there we go but this is good i really feel like you know i'm like in nature like bending nature to my will to make cool things oh, here go my dogs there we go stuff um so I actually had this idea when um I, did, I was part of this puppet slam where everyone kind of contributed like a piece of um the show and we were doing the show um it was based on Aesop's fables wait how many do I need? I need one more piece for the tail um and somebody was like you need to make all of the puppets it was um Aesop's the fox and the crow and you needed to make um the puppets out of like sticks and leaves and I was like that is such a cool idea I'm gonna turn this into a workshop um so if you kind of are still like struggling with something to do or like what kind of puppet to make um I would suggest go and like look at one of the fables um and then make the puppets from that and then of course put on a show um what could be better than putting on a show with your newly made puppets um all right so now I have my my body piece my um my four legs, let's see, I'm trying to hold it up so you can see without my hands getting in the way too bad. Um, there we go, I can't get it. There we go, so see how it's kinda, you can't really see because my hands are like really in the way, but um, we have this and then, um, then we have the tail too, which is gonna go on there. Um, yeah, so that's the, the basic, the basics to it um now we're gonna assemble these sticks so oh man i just i mixed them all up and i just lost the body piece sorry my dogs are flipping out right now don't you love it when when your animals interrupt your live video <laughs> i don't know if you can relate to that but it's something i deal with all the time um all right so just making sure so what i'm gonna want to do is um Obviously, I mean, you can put them on the same side if you want like that, but I do think it looks... I'm going to shut my door. Hold on. I don't think that'll help very much, but... Um, so I put them on either side like this, and then when it comes to um, sealing them in, so for those people who don't have hot glue at home, you can actually just tie them and just kind of like um, with the string and go you know over and like crisscross and that will hold them in pretty well I'll show you how to do that um in a second and you know then obviously do it for the same side again we want to make sure that we're leaving like a little bit of a nub on this side for um the head which is going to be a leaf um but yeah I'm going to use hot glue actually just to like uh settle it in and then I'll show you how to tie if that's what you are doing so all I'm going to do I'm going to angle this down Sounds like someone's at our door, but it's too bad. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna take, I put hot glue in the stick and I'm just going to put it right down on top. And now you're gonna see that I'm just gonna let it sit um, just like this and I'm gonna let it dry like that. And this is a perfect opportunity to do the second leg, which is um, I'm gonna do, or the, the back leg. All right, and I'm letting it dry. And now you'll see that I also put the hot glue um, kind of like 
stay up. I, just, I get left like a little bit of a, you know, part up there. You don't have to do that, but I kind of think it makes it look like natural and like, you know, makeshift. Uh, so, um, I don't know. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want. It's your puppet. I think that these look really cool because um, they almost look like they're, they're toys that fairies would play with or something. Like, I feel like I could walk into the woods and find these puppets that we're going to be making um, just like, you know, inexplicably against a rock or something and I'd be like, yeah, that's that's magical. This is definitely a, a fairies toy or something. Um, Alright, so now that these have dried, I'm going to flip it over and then I'm just going to place the sticks on there and then let it brace against the desk for support. What's the mailman, by the way? I heard him drive away. I love having loud chihuahuas. Alright, so I'm going to let that sit too. Now we wait for that to harden. Um, well, I'm also going to attach the tail as well. So the tail, you are going to need hot glue for this if you're doing that. Um, if you didn't have hot glue, you probably could have just used a longer stick and then let the tail stick straight out. Um, but what I'm going to do with the tail is just put hot glue on the very, very, very end. I'm also being pretty generous. I don't know if you can see. Like, I'm not just using a little bit of hot glue. Because um, these sticks, you want to make sure that they really do adhere to each other. Um, when it comes to using glue for the leaves, you're going to want to use like the teensiest tiny bit. Alright, so I'm going to hold this in place um, and let it dry. Then in a second, I will show you my super cool cat body. Um, I forgot to mention that if you are, there's another piece that I um, should have said, but this is okay because I still have enough stick left. Um, you're also going to want a control mechanism or control rod, right? So, um, I mean, I could make this puppet and um, just like manipulate it from wherever I really want, like maybe on the leg or something. But what I did on the other puppet where I made the full four-legged body, what I did was I took a stick and I stuck it in the end um, or in the middle, like from behind. So I could kind of like manipulate it like that. Um, so you can do that. But also if you want to make a puppet that can like flip around, um, you definitely couldn't do that with doing this kind of control rod. Um, then you're free to do what you want. Or then you can just like, you know, control it like this. It's kind of fun. So anyways, now you see that I have a, a cat body made out of sticks, right? I feel like it kind of looks like a cat with like the long skinny legs and the, it almost looks like a scary cat, right? Because the tail's like sticking straight out. Um, but I think that's kind of fun. What I'm also going to do now is um, attach that stick there. This can wait until the end, but I'm just going to get it out of the way now. And I'm really making sure that this stick is going to be stuck on there. So you can use as much hot glue as you'd like in this part. Just, you know, throw it on there. Don't be shy. Now I'm going to wait. Um, all the hot glue strings. Sounds like my dogs are still upset. It's probably like, I don't know. There's um, some children who like walk around our streets at, you know, in the evening and my dogs, I hate it. They scream at them and I feel so bad because it's like, they're just children. Why are you so mean dogs? It's, it's great. All right, it's almost done. The good thing about this is like, once you've gotten your stick body down, um, I feel like the decorating goes fairly quick actually. Um, you just want to make sure that what you're making is, you just want to make sure that the stick body is nice and, um, you know, sturdy. You don't want it to break. Um, now since I'm making a black cat, what better yarn to use than black yarn? I'm going to get out this. Um, so again, this is just, I, I kind of like, because, you know, these are like nature puppets. I almost want it to feel like... Um, we're making these like with the only only materials we have in nature so um I mean not that we have yarn in nature but I feel like making it look like the sticks are tied together rather than um you know glued might be a little bit more natural so I've cut off a piece of yarn maybe about like a foot long 
Um, you can definitely do it longer if you want. I think the stick is dry. Yeah, okay, so see now I have this control rod for to make the cat walk or mm, yeah, I can make it twirl like that. See the cat just did a backflip, pretty cool, right? Um, now if you were tying the sticks together, what you would want to do is position them um, still like this and then drape that piece of yarn over the middle. I would probably actually use a much longer piece, but I forgot to do that. And then um, you just want to tie it around almost like in X motions, right? Um, yeah, I definitely need a longer piece. I always do this to myself. And then doing this. Really, whatever you want to do to make sure those um, that yarn is secure. I don't think there's really like a right or wrong way to tie it as long as it works for you. Um, and then where was the other piece? I don't know. I can't find. Oh, it just broke. See, this is why you need to use a lot of glue. Um, so what I'm gonna do is. Oh, it, oh, you know why? It, um, the top layer of the stick just ripped off. So let me, let me peel that off. Yeah, be careful. If you're using older sticks, it'll start to, um, you know, like the, the layers will start to break off. And then your puppet will break and it'll be really sad. These are nature puppets, so, I mean, nature's not perfect. Alright, I'm going to let that dry while I figure this out. Again, I'm just going to place like a tiny... Tiny amount of glue there so the, the yarn will hold. I'm using like the teeniest tiny bit because yarn really does not need a lot to adhere. Now I have to wait for the, the leg to dry again. Of course this happens. Also, if somebody is um making one of these with me right now. I would love to hear what you're making. You could throw it into the comments and I'll read it out loud and I'll be all excited. So that would be nice. Um, I cut a way longer piece this time. Have you dried? Yes, you're dry, you're good enough. And again, I'm just tying in that crisscross way. And this time I really am going to tie it instead of using glue. It's what I should have done, but I didn't use a long enough piece of string. Whoa, somebody's making a leprechaun? That's super cool. See, that's a great idea. This is what I mean by I want people to be like inspired by whatever they have in their yard. And a leprechaun definitely comes from nature, so I could totally see that kind of puppet like frolicking around. Um, all right, so now I have, this looks like, you know, it looks like I've tied it together. Um, looks like a fairly organic nature-y puppet. So um, now comes the fun part, the decorating. Um, so as you can see, I've collected, uh, again, I have this, I can't remember the kind of tree it is, but um, it's it's like, you know, it's a tree with like um, almost like these deep purple leaves and I have a spider flower. The reason I picked the spider flower was because I was like, hmm, cats have pink noses, right? Um, so I really wanted the petals to kind of make like a pretty nose or something. Um, and then of course there's these little like teeny tiny, like you can't really see it, the little like whiskers part. So I thought that would be cute if I had time to like add some whiskers. I don't know. I'm just having some fun. Um, all right. So now it's really up to you to kind of decide like where you want to place the leaves on this body. Um, I would also say do not be afraid to just kind of like take apart the leaves and um, place them around. Um, so I'm going to look for a big enough piece for the head. This will work. Um, this leaf is kind of eaten up, but that's okay. Um, so I'm kind of looking at this and I'm like, I feel like I could see a cat's head in this, right? If I removed these little parts right here, I'm just gonna, you can use scissors, it's probably a little bit cleaner, um, but it's not super nature-y of me. I'm gonna remove the sides of these leaves. 
And you can save these parts because I don't know, you might be feel inspired by them later. Um, then I'm going to remove the top of this head. I mean, the top of this head. What? I'm making the top of the head. Um, I'm going to remove this middle leaf right here. So now I've kind of gotten a little cat shape, right? Yes, it is a Japanese maple. They, somebody commented it. Um, I'm, I think you're right on that. It's some kind of maple. Um, so now I have this little cat head, right, that I just, I made out of a leaf. Um, so you can kind of experiment with, I don't know, you know, whatever you're making. Um, I bet you could totally, like, make a human head shape or, or like, a cool little hat out of the, um, out of a leaf for the, the leprechaun or something. Um, so before I stick this on, um, I am going to put the eyes and nose on it. So I'm gonna move my little stick body out of the way. Um, I'm cheating, I have googly eyes. Again, I feel like it's funny when like every, almost every part of this is like comes from nature, but then the eyes are just googly eyes. I think it's kind of silly looking. So that's my own aesthetic choice. But if you don't wanna do that, that's up to you. Um, so I'm gonna peel off the little googly eyes if I can. You know what, I'm using hot glue. I'm trying to grow out my nails and now I suddenly find that I can't do anything with them. All right, so I'm just going for it. I'm just placing the eyes down. Oh, something else I wanted to say was, um, these puppets are not gonna last very long. You'll notice that I didn't have uh, an example to show you. Like normally, you know, at the beginning of my workshop, so I'm like, oh, here's an example of what I'm gonna be making. Um, but these puppets, because I'm not doing anything to preserve the leaves, um, these only last a couple days at most. Um, so if you ever want to make another one of these, um, and you want it to last a little bit longer, there are ways to preserve the leaves. And I was looking this up to tell you guys about it. Um, there's like, I mean, there's a bunch, you can just use Google, but a couple ones are like, you know, you can press them, um, and use some mod, mod podge to like, you know, preserve them. Um, you can use glycerin, believe it or not, to preserve them. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, you can use the, just like white glue, like Elmer's glue, and just coat them and then press them and let them sit and um, that'll preserve them. So if you ever want to do that, if you want this to last a little bit longer, which, I mean, come on, you're making these beautiful puppets, not for no reason. You, you want them to last. Um, so you might want to do that. Just a suggestion next time. I like the idea that these are um, natural though and they'll, you know, they'll, what's the word, like decay naturally too. So you gotta do something with them fast. Um, all right, so now you've seen that I have created a little cat head, um, but I still feel like it's missing, right? Or there's something missing. I feel like I need to add a little nose or something. So um, I'm gonna get out my petal. I'm taking the teensiest, tiniest, delicate petal. See? And now here's the thing. This petal is so delicate that I'm actually really afraid that I'm gonna destroy it with the hot glue. So this is where the glue stick comes in. It's a little bit, it's actually way gentler. So I'm just gonna take a little dab of glue, throw it on there. Now the phone's ringing. My house is quiet all day until this workshop. Like, I'm not even kidding. I swear everyone is like, wants to mess with me or something. Um, all right, so now I've placed a little bit of glue on there. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna place the little nose. Oopsies, I just, my nails make it hard now. <laughs> it's really silly looking. There we go. It's a little crooked. That's okay. Um, again, nature's not perfect. This is organic, so um, totally don't have to make it super. Oh, there we go. That's like a long nose, actually. It's kind of funny. Um, then, of course, I want to add some whiskers. So I'm going to... I also realized that what I can also do is um, potentially just like take apart the the leaf stems and make those whiskers. That actually might be a little bit better because um, they're like thicker, you know? They'll take the hot glue a little bit easier. So I'm gonna take those apart. Be careful not to damage your leaves if you're taking the stems. This is more a note to myself right now because I probably would do that. All right, so now see, I've got some whiskers. I'm gonna put the teensiest amount of hot glue on them. Oh, and of course they all just separate. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it right in the source. Okay, so this part, you for anything with having to do with the leaves, um, you're gonna wanna use like just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of hot glue. 
because believe it or not it actually discolors the leaves in like a really weird way I don't know what it is maybe it's like the heat of it or something yeah it's already starting so um I don't know just make sure you're not using too much of it it'll leave these weird lines on it This whiskers idea might not be very good, but that's okay. I'm experimenting. Oh, you know what? The glue only stayed hot enough for one whisker. <laughs> you can't even see it, can you? There we go. Um, let me put slightly more glue on there. That's probably too much. There we go. All right, I'm almost there. I've got, see the whiskers going on? I mean, I got some weird little hot glue strands which I can pull off, but. Bleh. Okay. Now I'm just gonna collect some more. Again, I'm using the tiniest bit of hot glue. Just stick this straight in there. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. I wonder if there's like a natural glue you can use. Like, I don't know. I bet there's some tree saps that are sticky enough to work with this. Just an idea if you really wanted to go like completely natural on this. Ah, one of my whiskers just fell off. You know what? That's okay. We'll deal with it. There's hot glue strings everywhere. They annoy me. All right, so now I've gotten my my cat head. Isn't that funny? I think it's cute. Um, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring in back my body, and I am going to add the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of hot glue. I actually did a little bit more than I should have, and I'm just gonna place the head right on there. Here's a tip. This again, this hot glue will leave like weird little lines after like. You'll notice that after a few minutes, like all of a sudden the leaf will be discolored um, where the hot glue is. So I'm putting, I put the hot glue right behind like the eye so you won't see it. Um, and then of course your head might be a little bit wiggly. Um, so I don't know, you can always like, I'm going to actually put another dollop of hot glue right there. You can do whatever you want to kind of make it just a little bit sturdier. A little bit more supported yeah there we go I fixed it so I'm almost done um and now I'm just gonna of course it's a scaredy cat so it's gotta have like big fur right um so now I'm just gonna take my leaves hot glue strings feel really creepy it feels like spiders are crawling on you or something I don't know if anyone else has that experience um so I have a couple of big leaves here and then some smaller ones um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the really big leaves for like the center of that body and then I'm going to use the smaller leaves on like the legs. Um, it's kind of up to you. So all I'm doing is just placing a teeny tiny bit of hot glue. This might cover some of the the cool, um, the you know, like the parts where the sticks intersect, but that's okay. looks like it looks like the back is arched or something like it's the cats freaking out that's kind of funny I'm gonna leave it like that then but I kind of like that or maybe I might add one more right in the center See, yeah, I have some like teeny tiny leaves here. I might actually leave the legs bare and then just decorate the tail because I don't know. I'm kind of digging the way the legs the legs look like sticks right now. Um, 
Then for this last part, I don't want the tail to be super fluffy. So I might, um, I might actually, I'm gonna experiment. I'm gonna pull some of these apart. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm making the fur follow the direction of, you know, real cat's fur for the leaves follow that direction. Oh, somebody said that looks so cool. Thank you, I appreciate it. Be careful, yeah, the leaves are not, you know, they have like almost no barrier against the hot glue. So don't burn yourself like I just did. Don't be dumb. And one more piece to put on. All right, and I am done. Just in time, too. Um, oh, there's so many little strings here. I don't even know if you can see them, but that's okay. Um, so now I have my, my scaredy cat puppet. This is what I'm gonna call it. Um, and of course, again, like I said, you should definitely try to put on a show or like take some cool videos um, while your puppet's still good. Cause again, this will only last like maybe two days tops. Um, of course, these are also really cool decorations. So um, you can also just like, I don't know, prop them outside or something and show it off to the people walking around your neighborhood. Um, but like this this might be one of my favorite puppets i've ever made with with you guys actually um but anyways uh i hope you guys have a great weekend it's gonna be a scorcher so i hope you i don't know have some pools you can jump into or something um and i hope to see you next week bye everyone have a great weekend